Hello everyone, welcome to our first installment of the Critical Reflection Syntheses. I'd like to thank Kristen and Natalie for getting us started with their summaries of Critical Reflection 2, Me Write Pretty Someday. So without further ado, let's see what they had to say. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen and I'm going to speak uh, tongue-in-cheek about our Critical Reflection, uh, pitting Grammarly in this corner against uh, the Faustian bargain in this corner. and. A reminder not to use animation with Google Slides. So in reviewing our main themes, many of us said that using Grammarly would make our life easier. And of course, it's free. So these seem like clear gains. And there were particular gains for certain learners, like people with disabilities and ESL. However, others um, paused to ask, well, how much tech is too much tech? And also, some people noted that using tech can sometimes change human behavior. And in these cases, these were positive examples. However, tech also changes human behavior. And these were some concerns that some of our classmates had. Um, and again, <laughs> this can cause further implications that we're just about to see. So there we go. Um, would Grammarly be a crutch? Um, there is a paywall, so um, not everyone can afford this. This would lead to hom homogeneity and uniformity, plus the feedback that's provided might not help people really understand um, what they need to fix. There's also a personal Im impact. Basically, um, people trust the system, but it might not actually work. Uh, people might lose the motivation to actually learn this, and then people might have a false sense of efficacy and self-confidence about what they can do. Um, and then it even gets worse. <laughs> so um, we have some concerns about language and kind of superiority. Um, there's also security concerns and what happens with the information and data, and then who's behind the system that decides what is correct or not. So in parting, in closing, um, there are some really interesting questions in terms of um, owning a skill and um, learning how to do something, like learning how to write effectively and properly. Uh, but there's also equity implications, and we are a class about ethics, and um, especially in Hawaii, <laughs> talking about colonization and kind of imposing certain systems. Um, Natalie also mentioned this is a global product, however, who actually is, again, behind it. So lastly, in parting, technology, ed tech, learning technology education is a tool, but remember, it's just a tool, and uh, it's not the master of us. Natalie here, and this is my critical reflection for week two, focus on assessment and synthesis. From a base level, I felt like everyone brought their A game this week and were so strong in their critical reflection and critical argumentation in terms of the value added and the value lost with Grammarly. And so this really focuses on the synthesis of value added and value lost in terms of the responses for this week. One main theme in terms of value added with Grammarly is that the tool provides guidance or support with syntax. Another value added is that Grammarly can really bolster or increase confidence. A third is that Grammarly provides learning opportunities, really helping users to identify patterns of errors in their writing. This is actually comes in two coins. In one turn or one sense, some people focus on sort of the general learning opportunities, and other people brought in empirical evidence to support ELL learning opportunities with Grammarly. A fourth theme was that Grammarly provides on-demand correction, which seems to be a bit of a reflection of our society in terms of that quick, fast, and rapid response that we're looking for. A fifth common theme was version or idea of free, and this seemed to be really interesting. It almost seemed to be a comment on our society in that it it seems that we're always looking for that deal, something that's free or cheap, um, and, and, and really interesting that several people brought up the free nature of Grammarly. A sixth theme was that Grammarly can be really helpful for specific genres, referring to social media and business. And a seventh theme was, I would say, indirectly commented on, not necessarily directly commented on, and that's to make one's writing more attractive. Grammarly certain, certainly seems to um, focus on helping people to make their writing more attractive. Writing can be a very personal thing, and writing can really be a representation in some instances of the person writing. And I think that it's a, a very American of us to focus on making our writing more attractive and more error-free. In terms of value loss, several people referred to limited functionality. Grammarly is not error-free. Grammarly could offer an over-reliance on technology, 
it could, in some instances, even de-skill users. And lastly, Grammarly can hinder the writing process, it can hinder creativity, and learning might even be lost using the tool.